siku kwa nafanya job decent. Okay. Ya, yeah, mi nilikuwa pedla. Sijika mauna. Sijika unaandastani kusema pedla. <laughs> like, yeah. Ya, kwa wale hawajui pedla ni nani, mm. I used to use bangi. Okay. Ya, yeah, nikajiuliza niye, nirudi kwa ile nyumba, oh. <laughs> Nikasema sirudi. So I looked at this man. Nanze, growing up in the ghetto, me nifunza vitu mingi. Now that is where I realized that enye mini mgeto. Okay. Mm-hmm. I looked at that mubaba, you know, ni mkubwa, I zitosha ikiti. Mm. Then I looked at him. Then I said, Lisa, who you see as a co-sponsor? So we are here because of Buckley. Buckley Consulting, something like that. Hope you may put a right touch up to confirm. But I'm not going to say my name in your name in studio. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. So today we have a very special guest to introduce. But remember, Kapa because of Barclay Consulting, okay? So what I've introduced, I've been to Nani, and to Kapa Mchani, and then we'll tell you more about Barclay Consulting, actually in Shule, it's a school here in Doha. So what I've been to Nani, so along the conversation, Pia Tatuambia, Kama, and I've been doing Barclay School, Kama, and so many other things. Karibu kwa show, madam. Karibu. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, hmm. Uh, Sijuni so anze na jina zaidi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Naitangwa Viola Magova. Nice. Yeah, those yeah. are my names. Magova ni mina kwa? Yeah, I'm Viola Magova. Uh-huh. Um, I'm a mom of two kids. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tani, people know me as Mama Africa. Mm-hmm. And uh, grew up uh, Nairobi, actually in the ghetto. Me ni mtuwa eight town. Eight town? Eight town, number nane. Kibera, ah, okay. number nane. Watu wa Kibera. Yes, Kibera, number mm-hmm. nane. Yeah, I grew up in a place called Line Saba. Jukibera is big. Yeah, true. So, mm-hmm. I grew up Line Saba. I was going to change it with Gen Z. I was going to L7. Uh-huh. Yeah, so grew up there. And I was going to Doha for five years now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. and uh, about the space, Hapa Berkeley. Mm-hmm. Actually, I was a student here. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Karim, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I did a course, Hapa IV, in 2021. And mm-hmm. it is a very nice place. Mm-hmm. Ni watu wana kusikiza, you know, mm-hmm. they, whenever you are here, they will listen to you and mm-hmm. they will understand you. Mm-hmm. Wana kupatia what you want, not mm-hmm. what they want. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so about Berkeley, it's a very nice place. Mm-hmm. So, wale wasi wako pale nje mnafikiria, mnataka kujoin courses uku Doha, by the way, Berkeley is a very good space for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one, I can say it for a fact, Ju, mini material ya hapa. Yeah. Now, wako na affordable prices, by the way, mm-hmm. if, I'm, if I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. Wana kuangana tu offers, nini nini, so, yeah, wase wakamu. Well, what's your name? Sir, Karim, what's up? Ah, thank you so, so much. So, you told me about the day, like, you know, like, Palim Tani, get to you, Kwaji, Mago, Kwaji, 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 Oh, okay. Uh, as a lot of people say, ma, mm-hmm. get on, you say, when you choose to see plus poor, mm-hmm. but to me, get on the menu layer. I am what I am today, kwa sababu yeyo ghetto. True, so what I mean to a ghetto. Yeah, so um, growing up, uh, nilikuwa na very good parents, mm-hmm. a very humble home. Mm-hmm. My dad and my mom, by the way, kudos. Mm-hmm. So, na, I'm a sister mm-hmm. to, we are born eight. Uh, good number. Yeah. It's a good number. Only two boys, mm-hmm. and uh, wengine ni madem. Mimi niki wa second born. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I grew up pale na banane, went to school a bit, I toka hapo kidogo, I was home. You know, pia, kika ghetto pia sometimes the ukimingle na wase unakuja unawana iwe. Mm-hmm. Mamu kwa nuna niambia. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Ili, yeah. when I lived in class 6, I was in the middle of the world. Uko place in the middle That is now my, my matrimonial home. Sasa, mm-hmm. ukondo dada litoka. Though, at the moment, mm-hmm. they are not there. Unajua mbale is a place that... Mm, okay, wako na tushamba tudogo. So hata ukipati waka, like uh, a third of an acre wewe, itakusaidia na nini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people wametoka huko mm-hmm. and then wako easy places zingine. So my dad and mom currently wanna stay in uh, the area between Kitale hapo. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, nilitoka huko Kitambo. <laughs> Since 2015, I was there in 2015 actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, so huko ndo naweza ita home for now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my family lives in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see as disclose location exactly you one to three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, me ni mama wa mm-hmm. I'm an aunt to many. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a grandma also. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I have a daughter, an adopted daughter. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, she has two babies now. Mm-hmm. And it was Michelle, wherever she is, I know she might watch this. So they are supporting a very big family. Nampenda sana. Me and my mom, by the way, not just uh, up across street at Naitango mom. I'm mm-hmm. a mother. Back home, I have a family of like 12 people that I support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why mm-hmm. lazima to chape hustle in Doha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And me coming to Doha, before Nikuja Uko, I was in Bahrain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to Bahrain for nine months mm-hmm. without pay. Then, without pay nine months? Yeah. June, it was in 2018, January 10th. Mm-hmm. That was my flight to Bahrain. Mm-hmm. And when I went to Bahrain, before I could get the process, uh, of course I was married. That's why I was married. Yeah, and I was married and then I was married and then I was married. Mm, yeah. So zile kumpeleka hospitali ni nini? Unaizwa ni Bill Spear. Mm, and uh, his family was not supportive enough so mm. ikakuwa I'm alone. Mm. Yeah, kuna one person ni marehemu size alikuwa anasema nga every man for himself God for us all. Yeah. yeah. Na hiyo word ilikuja kuji reveal baadaye sasa. Mm. Juu wakati muda watu wao alianza kuwa msik no one was there. I was just there. Mm. I remember I was pregnant with my second daughter. So the family can dump both sides, my dad, my mom, and his family also. Yeah. Mm. So I tried for two years. I was like, I was period ya kubeba ball. I was the daughter grew up in two years. That is two years. Mm. So I was like, hey, as a mom, these kids are growing. Yeah, sure. mm. So it's either I was kama I was like, I was Mm-hmm. Ama nita choose baba yao wa kue sawa. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, si madhara iko pale, iko open. Mm-hmm. Katupa mjama uko, nikajianza kujitaftisha process mbili tatu, it wasn't easy. Mm-hmm. Kawaida river road kuna watu wako hustle pale, unaenda mm-hmm. unapigwa kathati. Ina hiyo story inasaulika hivyo ni nilini. Pole pole. Kwa river road? Uh-huh. River road unajua kuna watu wako hustle. There is an office unaenda pale unambiwa, eh. Hey, mm-hmm. Fanya hivi, leta 30K ni kupatia connection ya kuenda outside Kenya. Eh, unapea oh, na do. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. So, ni mekuliwa kuliwa pale River Road 1, 2, 3. Mm-hmm. Nikijaribu yeah. kutafta kazi. Nikijaribu kutafta job za inja. Sasa, at that moment, nilikuwa nimefika point ni meona Kenya. is not for me. Okay. Yeah, ju... Actually, now, the name Mama Africa came nikiwa na baba watoto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ju... Mm-hmm. Siku kuwa nafanya job decent. Okay. Yeah, mimi nilikuwa peddler. Sije kama una. Sije kama una understand kwa sababu peddler like yeah, kwa wale hawajui peddler ni nani, I used to use bangi. Okay. Yeah, you know I have to make ends meet. Mm-hmm. At this point niko na wazimu like huyu alikuwa anaweza mka aende kwa barabara apige mtu kichwa huko imepasuka. I have to pay. Ndato wapi hiyo do? Na siyeziacha, siyezienda kazi juu I was heavily pregnant. Yes. And then I also have a kid. You by the what you want me It was uh, 2013 or 2015. Niko na naza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and si juu ni naza sema ni kama God alikuwa na jaribu kunyonesha kitu. Juu my kids are both born in October mm-hmm. on a Saturday mm-hmm. at 8:30 a.m. <laughs> So baby they want to share. Yeah, but sasa tarehe ndo ili differ kidogo. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa date five for my son and date ten for my daughter. But time day. Everything's so. And month ni the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so birthday I normally do it like kwa pamoja. Mm-hmm. So now my daughter is uh, nine. She turned nine actually last mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. And my son I met an 11. I'm ready for na toshana na wewe. Wewe? No, like for height. Okay. Eh, height, ame, ame nishinda actually. Ah. Yeah. So now nikiwa yo harakati ya kuhasol. Mm-hmm. Jusa unajo obvious si mademo na vutabangi. Ni Majority ni men, unaona? Mm-hmm. And nikisema nilikuwa na uzabangi, like it was a commercial thing. I had even a room bigger than this, wase wange come, wakae wa smoke, wakimaliza waende. Wa joint. Yes. But sasa strictly nilikuwa na uzatu bangi peke yake. So a lot of people wakikuja pale, unajua mama Africa is a name that ilitoka kwa wale majama. You know? Now you get the name, yes, yeah. So mm-hmm. that name ilitoka hapo. Jua a lot of people, walikuwa hawajui jina yangu. Mm-hmm. So they would come there, wanainita mama wa Zak, baba watu ya likuwa naitua Zak. Mm-hmm. Ah, mama wa Zak, ah, then there is a lady alikuwa naitua Shaka, sema, na mbuna tusimuite mama Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now that is where mama Africa was born. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like after nime kaka kidogo nilika kwa hiyo industry kiasi, and I felt like this is not the right thing for me to do. Mm-hmm. Ju imefika point, my son, uh, uo mtoi ako very sharp. Mm-hmm. Na reason ilifanya kwe sharp, ju mini kimza nilikuwa already na uzabangi. 
So unapata most of the time alikuwa na kana ma, na maboys. Hebu ngoja. Unajua <laughs> karibu ni understand that unauza bangi. Mhm. Mm Maybe ulivuta bangi mtu yaka kwa shop. No 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 I, I smoked yes mm -hmm. but ule mtu hii he is just extraordinary. Actually mm -hmm. he's like um I had a, a son before yeye mm -hmm. and then uh, aka pass. Mm -hmm. So after I pass ile I just wanted a baby. Unajua tume grow up tukiwa madem unajua mkiwa kwa hood mko madem wa nane mmesoma shule moja hey, mnacheza kalongo. So tu, in fact ilikuanga tuliza wote kutoka mwezi wa 5, wa 6, mm -hmm. wa 7, wa 8, wa 9. Like all of us tulikuwa tumezaa and then unfortunately mine was gone. Mm -hmm. So unaona ile pressure mm -hmm. I really wanted a baby. I didn't mm -hmm. care umtoto na mtoa wapi ama anatoa kwa nani. In fact baba yake was an ex but he sick I just decided like eh sinani wako na watoto mbona mimi sina let mm -hmm. me go try it was the first day actually na yeye na that is when i got pregnant mm -hmm. and uh, yeah mtoto yeye akakuwa very sharp ali yeah alikuwa yeah he's a good kid uh, and it's alpacino actually alpacino yes vinakuwa <laughs> sana alpacino kama kuna mwenye ajua alpacino aende akaangalia movie na jita scarfes ama the godfather godfather atamjua yes movie na kind of inspiration sana kwa yeah mm. that's why unajua reason ilifanya ni muita alpacino mm. i had a few names on the table na it took time for us to decide to tamuita alpacino mm. ju jina zilikuja mob mm. obvious the parents had their own names the dad mm. alikuwa na jina yake mm. hii jina si kumpea mimi in person the name came from the crew. Mm -hmm. So unaona sasa already nilikuwa na nilikuwa na kama jesh already. Yeah. yeah. So unapata hawa sasa walikuwa nakuja nikiwa na hiyo ball. Bayo mtu wa say and mine wavuta bangi. Those people see things. Mm -hmm. You know they would come wananiambia iki ni kilayo umebeba. And mm -hmm. then I'm like sasa nyinyi mnaniambia. So as time moved by me si kufanya any scan but mm -hmm. nilikuwa naenda shop na buy vitu za mtoi boy. Mm -hmm. And true to their word Al Pacino akazaliwa. Mm. And then sasa unapata mimi sina time hata ya mtoi. By the way, wale mademu wako ghetto wana hustle. Usiwai wanda mm. Those girls are going through hell. Mm. Mm. Mimi mtoi wangu nilikuwa namchukua ana feed na mpeana. Ju lazima niende soko, ni buy hizo ndom, nikuje nizisani, nipige rolls, ndio sasa nikae chini ni wauzie. So we hiyo biashara yako ya bank ndom. Mhm. Mm Nani alikuwa introduce gai bangi? Aha. Hiyo biashara ni ilikuwa introduce na baba watoto. Mm -hmm. Na baba watoto mimi hata ndio nikubali ni kuwa introduce kwa hiyo biashara. Unajua tukiwa ghetto madem tunakuanga na ile mentality. Mm -hmm. Okay, tumeshaiona obvious wauzaji bangi wako na do. Yes. Mm -hmm. As a young girl I was only 19. So Si pia unataka mtu wako na do? Kwani mi nataka kuenda kusafa? Uza pale getu unataka do. Yes. Mm. So that was the point. Unapata mabeste zangu wanembe. Hey, zaka na kuanga na do. Zaka na uza ngandom. So your pressure, I was like, ai. Sasa mbona pia mi nisijipe. Yeah. Yeah, getu ineza kufunza vitu mabu. Mm. So, nilipofika. And then we started the thing. Tukarudiana. Tuka and then I'm pregnant. So, ikakuwa. One of the days, nikakuja nikamombia na siu nifunze kuroli kitu. Lucky me. I'm very sharp in learning things. Hata mm. si kujifunza siku mbili. Mm. Nikakuwa na mpigia flag, ya naenda na huza. Napigia flag, ya na huza. So, mm. ikafika point, haka niambia, I think you are doing this better than me. We, shikilia kazi. Ebuto mbili takutia kishash na ingini zini gani. Sini ni hitu wa shash na gani? Kuna shash na kuna regular. Okay. Uh, shash, mostly imetoka Ethiopia. Mm. Yani ni kama venye tuneza sema aja. It's just a different company. Muti ni tofauti ya mani? Muti ni tofauti pia. Okay. Ya, ni, ni mti tofauti na enye sisi tunachukua. Ju unapata, and it's, that's why it's expensive. Unajua expensive lazima ikuetu ni kitu. It's, ainanga uzito sana. Wase wache kutuambia anga atishashi kona uzito. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Pana, tutuambia ni ainanga uzito. It's just a normal thing. Yenye msea neza smoke na. But sasa unapata shash inakuanga ime, ime kuwa upgraded. Unona? Mm -hmm. Ju kama hii ingine, shash ulikuwa napata, tulikuwa tunaita slim. Nilikuwa yeah, na yuza msi na, na, na kuna koro. Na kuna na slim na koro. Yeah. So kale ka slim, ka shash nge kuzia chwani. Naka ka slim kakawida na kuzia kumi. Reason ni nini? Shash, atijuni meitu wa Ethiopia, nda kuzia yeah. expensive. Unona? Na hii ingine ni meitu wa pale local. local. Si hata ikuwa ngi local, si zinatoka tizedi. Eh, yeah, zinatoka kumitu waji. Yeah. So, kwa kisi yuko zinatawa. What is the difference between Tanzania na Ethiopia? Yeah, it's just the same thing. But sasa shashi ni kitu iku upgraded kidogo. I don't know how they plant it. I don't know how they do it. Kwa sababu wata mbegu zake wezi zipanda Kenya zime. Mm. Yeah, I, I have tried breed it. Flani. Ni breed flani tu. Mm. Tuseme ni kama ni GMO ama ni gani. Tusijui. Yeah, but it's, it's somehow. So, kwa hivyo pia 
kutunza bangi mm-hmm. challenges gani you face makarao familia i was very lucky mm-hmm. when it comes to makarao as mm-hmm. you can see my face is very innocent <laughs> yes i did <laughs> mimi imagine askari alikuwa anakuja bezi yangu mm-hmm. ananiambia nataka mwenye hapa namwambia ni mimi ananiambia hapana yeah. nataka mwenye hapa and actually i used to shave nilikuwa na kinyozi so mm-hmm. nilikuwa na nyoa wanaume and then at the back of that kinyozi ndo kuna hiyo bezi ya bangi mm-hmm. so al- walikuwa wanakuja unajua the moment i see them ah wewe niko na do so oh, kwani askari wa ya. askari wa Kenya wanataka nini e, saa kikuja ni aulize nataka mwenye hapa namwambia ni mimi akataye namwambia fanya hivi wewe buku nyoa chai ukiendaga that's how i survived four years no jail mm-hmm. no kushikwa no nothing nilichapa four years bila tu kusumbuliwa na mtu but so unajua kwa sangi masnitch 1 2 3 kawaida yeah so mm-hmm. But kitu ili, ili ni challenge sana mm. ni ile mtoi wangu mm. alifika point anaweza identify askari hata kama java uniform i felt bad Juno jua hiyo life yeah. ile ya ghetto yani anajua anajua gauni karao anajua wizi kesho ata, atajua wala jamu mtabangi ile kitu atakuja na yeah. jungi nini I, I have a ring mm. i have a ring nimeitoa kwa sababu of course someone else came in nika hiyo ring nikaitoa hiyo ring mtoi wangu alinipatia he bought that ring for 30 bob na ni ring ya silver uh-huh. na alinunua kwa sababu alikuwa anaona ah oh, maboy wao kuja wamevaa ma bling pet yeah. koni nini nini mimi yangu ni ya kawaida no hata mimi uva by the way unajo ai siwezi kwa nimetoka ghetto ni kosa kuvaa bling hata hata leo sijavaa kwa sababu tu maybe nimesahau but mm. yeah so uh, kitu ili ni challenge sana ni hiyo una check mtoi hii mpaka anaanza kwa identify karao bana mtoi anakuambia mam ule ni mbanga Mm. uko zile za how did you know mm. hata mimi sikukua nimejua but mtu hii anajua nika feel this is not the direction ataka mtu wangu wa grow mm. alafu sasa unapata nimekuja nimepata second bone first bone asha ni umesha hizo vituko nikajiuliza am i sure in your life nataka kulea huyu second Juhi, bone piga picture vile umelewa na yeah. mtu wako na unauza bangi like mimi in fact kwetu hakuna mulevi hakuna mvutaji bangi i'm just an, a, a different breed from i don't know where yeah, literally <laughs> Imagine kwetu hakuna mm. kwetu ya church people ni nini ni. in fact my mom is a leader in the church ni yao hizi church za waluya za kudundu Kudundi. my mom is a is a is a, is a wanaitangu wana waje mama, uh, mama, mama, mama mama district no, mama district in fact she count in fact ni district she's bigger than you see yeah. so like iko nisumbua juu si mimi nataka do ama young girl nataka pesa jenzia wa jima mbaya mama uh, we jenzia <laughs> wa understand is na wezi <laughs> kudisha <laughs> No like kudundu they should know because growing up in Nairobi mm. kwani kuna, kuna zile church za Kawangware kudundu ya yenye napigaga parade kwa barabara yes, za yes. Kawangware mpaka Huruma yes zile ukitoka kuna hizi churches za African Divine Church eh, they do it mpaka saa hizi mpaka saa hizi yes lazima hiyo hiyo ni kitu wewe wewe muluya bila ku no 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 ayo hapana it's not a uh, 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 i was well you must do that thing on Sundays lazima tujibambe yeah, yeah. yeah. Sasa ukatoka mtaani. Yeah. Ndio hiyo doha. Unifikaje ndio tumia hiyo ndama. Hey, now that story hata na shenangu anta explain aje. Do you know that mimi mtu alinileta doha simujui? We met once. Mm. I went for the inter hata si interview. Tuli nilikuwa railways. I used to work at Upper Hill kuna utu tu tu hoteli tu dogo tu dogo. Na tucheki. Yeah, so I used to buy food hapo mm. and then naenda na uzia wale wasio kwa ofisi. Kuna ofisi kuna one office in Ajita. CMA Capital Markets Authority. Sijui. Yeah, mm-hmm. iko iko upper hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to buy food huku chini at a price unapata kama githeri beef ilikuwa nachukua huku kwa huku chini na so mm-hmm. nikienda huku na yuza 200 ama 250 unaona. Mm-hmm. So hapo mm-hmm. nimemake profit na bado mwenye hoteli atanilipa. Mm-hmm. So nika survive that is after nimetoka Bahrain after pay. Yeah, okay. unakumbuka nikikwambia nimekuwa mm-hmm. Bahrain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nilirudi home as usual. Discrimination tu lazima wewe umetoka majumbo na una do. Mm-hmm. Na watu wasi, watu wasikwe wanaambia kila mtu anafikia sasa. Manza hiyo hiyo kitu ili ni change to a drunkard within minutes. Nilikuwa siwezekani kiwa soba. Juu mm-hmm. utakuja hivi kwa hao unaulizwa. Wewe ulikuwa majuu mbona umekuja bila do? Mm-hmm. Alafu unajua kitoka majuu. Yaani sijui skin yetu ujua tinaenda nyumbani. Eh manza una shine kama sasa unaona venye na kaivi. Sasa hivi mm-hmm. nikasema naenda home. Yaani from nowhere. Ita problem. Nita glow. 
Oh, ita glow sana. Huwa una glow. No, nikitoka hapa nikienda mta, nina glow yani naonekana kabisa. Sasa hii na glow. No, okay, inakuanga that different by the way. Okay. So nikifika home like waseo na jowu yamekama kuna doni ni nini. Mm. Trust you me hata nikitoka Bahrain si kwenda kwa mama yangu direct. Mm. I slept kwa nyumba ya mse for three days before niambie mama yangu nao nimeland. Mm. Ju nili face challenges hizi challenges mademu face kwa hao. Mm. Ju nilikuwa na two old people. Mi by then napenda watu wazee waguka na washosho. I love mm. I love taking mm. care of them. Mm. Na watu hii actually. So unapata the, the head of son na the son alijaribu kufanya ujinga mingi mingi to the extent that wewe unajua mimi ni mluya pia kuna vitu si ogopangi. Mkono ukikuja na na kuwekelea vizuri. Unataka get ulimfinya. Ah nilimfinya. Eh hey, nilifinya mwanaume vizuri. So, <laughs> no. so like alini alini kwa menifikisha to the extent that manze I can't take it. Eh. Yeah, so nika picha na yeye kidogo, nikapele kwa <laughs> police station, nika ka cell wiki mbili. Eh. But nikiwa cell, I think that was a turning point for me. Mm. I just told myself Seri that. Maji. Yeah, Bahrain. Okay. Yeah, so nika it was just a turning point for me. So nika jipata ya kumeenda vanya kumeenda and then unajua ndio ujue serikali ya Bahrain hawa sasa yani hata siwaelewi wakiamua kukutumia watakutumia mm. do you know that nilitoka sale nikarudishwa kwa the same house we endelea kazi we endelea kazi so nikafanya kazi and then nika strategize like how am i going to get out of this place mm. ju ni nine ni, sasa hapo nilikuwa nimefikisha 5 months mm. silipwi i have a family back home mm. but watu hii nafaa kumsupport medically mm. so like what am i doing nikarudi to the agent ana ito Abdul Hamisi huyo mwanaume he is one of a kind mm. yeah ju hata mimi kupata passport ni yali nitaftia passport without even asking for one bob na ukumbuke sasa nimetupa pesa huko river road nikiambia tutakuwa kwa player yeah, sure. but huyu alikam to from mm. nowhere mm. akaniambia okay alikuwa agent at that time alikuwa amepeleka peleka watu so ikakuwa ni bahati uh, my sis is married my elder sis is married so the sister to the husband wa sister angu alikuwa ametoka Saudi at that time mm-hmm. so sika kuwa eh jesh ni marehemu sasa hizi may hasor rest in peace uliendaje Saudi si uni connect hata mimi na already unajua nilikuwa nishashare na sisi nikamwambia yeah. yeah so ikakuwa hii chance ilikuwa ni sister angu aichukue mm-hmm. but sasa unajua mimi am sharp eh mimi we mimi siachili <laughs> eh hey. ah nilifatana <laughs> na ule mwanaume hivyo yeah. so hiyo time tulipatana the first day akaniambia we meet kesho niende nifanye process ya passport mm. my passport was out, was out in three days actually hiyo mm. ilikuwa september 2017 then nikaka september hivyo mpaka 2018 sasa january 10th mm. ndio nikaenda bahrain mm. so kauko nikapelekwa tu job ni nini ni, ni, nilikuwa nafanya job yeah but sasa hizo challenges nika hiyo sasa time nimekuja nimekataa kulipo na nimeanza ku strategize how I'm going home mm-hmm. of course my mom hakukuwa na hiyo capability ya kunilipia ticket mm-hmm. yeah Ju, why mbona kama angekuwa nao mbona nisafiri mm-hmm. so it wasn't easy nikaongelesha ule Abdul kaambia yeah i really need to come back home hawa mm-hmm. sasa wanilipi na i can't be here so akaniambia i can find your ticket see one way mm-hmm. Yeah, I can find your ticket. Uh, by that time alikuwa anafanya job jamo Kenya hata airport so it was easier. So the guy sends me a ticket but hiyo ticket ilikuwa imekatwa a week before sasa the date for the ticket. Mm-hmm. So nikakuja nikamwambia hawa say my son is sick nini nini God was with me. Manze mi unacheki unacheki wase usema ngati God exists and exists. Yeah. Kwa life yangu nimemuona so many times. Mm-hmm. Do you imagine kuambia Muarabu amekununua? Unajua these people they buy you. Ah. Yes, they buy you kwa sababu ndio nitoke Kenya alikuwa amelipa kwanza kwa contract pepe yangu ilikuwa inaonesha alilipa 100,000 Kenyan money kwa agent yes kwa agent na akanigaramia ndege ndio niende mm-hmm. amenigaramia visa na passport na kila yeah. kitu so this mm-hmm. person anaku on by the way wase wasionange ni kwa ubaya ati watu sema wana tu on yes they do jumanze mimi ni wewe hebu jiambie sasa hizi nitoe kisosa hizi ni peane juu yako sina ku on Yeah, yeah. Mm. so imagine at that person una, unaenda unamwambia yake nataka tu munisaidie. Yes, that is what I did. Niambia mm. my son is very sick and my son was not even sick. Yeah. But yeah. I had to find a way. Mimi mgeto bana. Eh lazima ndoke hapa. Alafu pia hapo nilikuwa nimeanza kusikia sikia tu rumors tu. Qatar kuna do Qatar kuna do. Unajua the moment you are out of Kenya ndo utajua huku nje kukoaje. Mm. But still kama bado uko pale you know nothing about the outside world. Mm. So yeah nikakuja nikaongea na wao. Kizuri the man huyo mzai mwenye nilikuwa na take care of 
alikuwa ananipenda mbaya mm. na a month after nimetoka alikufa may he so rest in peace na kwa ni watu wengi wanakufa kufa aje siku hizi ama ni uzee that is catching up with us hata genzi wanakufa so mm. mzee akaniambia yeah it's fine uh, you can go and then you come back sasa ticket ikikatwa Kenya ni Kenya. Alilipa one way but iliandika kwa ticket two, two way, way. Two and four. Mm. So the moment I showed them the ticket they were like it's okay you can. You can na urudi. Mm. Ikapata this this day in the Muslim calendar anajiita Muharram. The first day of their year. Naitwa Muharram. Sijui na kuanga date ngapi actually nimesahau. Mm. Ikafika hiyo siku ndio nafaa ku travel. So who was supposed to take me to the airport ni the sun mwenye sasa amekuwa akinisumbua. But sasa ikakuwa juu ni Muharram amenda mosque nini nini so he's not around. So they gave me one old papa hapo hivyo anafanyanga yeah. nini yeah kaniambia yeah. yeah. but sasa huo mzae uh, alikuwa anga kona ma alikuwa na eight wives actually uh, nilikuwa nime manage to come closer to one of the wives mwenye yeah i think ndiye alikuwa the current wife kwa hiyo nyumba mm. so nilikuwa close na yeye na akakuwa ananiambia she was from Ethiopia akakuwa ananiambia unajua hata mimi nilikuwa mfanyikazi hapa and then the mzae ali after me manza contract aka decide and taka kuni marry and i was okay with it mm. so huyu ndio mzae mimi napewa nipeleke airport Instead nikae pale nyuma juu kwa gari ya Mwarabu obviously you should sit at the back. Amenikalisha hapa mbele. Alafu mse mwenyewe ni mbigi akiingia kwa ndai hivi ndai ya Dina Singh. Anajaa. Hii. So okay, sinataka kwenda Kenya. Mm-hmm. Let me just play low. Eh tukaingia gari. Kafika airport, kumbe ule mjamaa alinitumia tickets ilibidi nipatiane kwa wadosi ndio wanikubalie nitoke. Kumbe hao nao walienda wakafanya mambo yao. So nafika airport na mbo your ticket is cancelled. Yes. Nikampigia yule ya Abdullah Miss nikamuuliza eh kwani ulinikatia ticket uka cancel akaniambia no mimi hata sija cancel ticket why should i do that mm. kwenda kwa system kuangalia kanaambia wa i guess how watu wako wame wame wame, wame resist your exit mm. so it's not possible you will have to wait for another 24 hours nikukatia ticket na mimi nikajiuliza nie nirudi kwa ile nyumba oh <laughs> nikasema sirudi so i looked at this man Nanze growing up in the ghetto many funza vitu mingi now that is where i realized that enye mimi ni mgeto okay mm-hmm. i looked at that mubaba you know ni mkubwa aizitoshe ikiti mm. then i looked at him then nikajiuliza huyu si anaweza kuwa sponsor <laughs> yes <laughs> but then that's what i told myself huyu na by that time ni Yeah. Ugeto iliniingia sasa ile sasa nikajua wewe manze unaweza toa mgeto geto. Nilijua wewe buda wewe. Awe mimi nakufa na wewe. Nikamuuliza unajua tukikuja kwa gari wewe alikuwa asha tupa tupa mistari ni nini nini okay. but sikukuwa na given unaona. Mm. But at this moment this is it. Si alikuwa imekanceliwa. Tiko imekanceliwa na nikoshua niki nikirudi kwa ile how they will not let me go again. Na umzee na umze ananidai. Uh-huh. Jo hata alikuwa mpaka ananiambia when you are done with your contract it's okay mimi naweza kuchukua ukwe wife na nikutafutia mali utaishi. Na mabibi zake wote ameweka vizuri. Ni tusichana tudogo tudogo huko tu Ethiopia. Unajua Ethiopians get married at the age of 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah so nikajua hii si ni potential. Mm-hmm. Hii imekuja nikianga <laughs> uongo siachilii. Then I was like Okay I speak Arabic so nika hiyo time nili actually niliongea Kiarabu in two months in Bahrain nilikuwa naongea Kiarabu mm-hmm. that's fast i can be mm-hmm. so nikamwambia si ulikuwa umesema unataka kunini eh sasa si niende nione mtoto jua that moment si unaona nimeambia mtoto ni mgonjwa mm-hmm. sasa si uni sponsor tu niende home nione mtoto then you can come to Kenya clear with my parents alafu mm-hmm. we come back baba akaniangalia akaniuliza are you sure akauliza ile kitu warabu wanauliza nanga wala na mimi nikalia wallahi ladhim <laughs> that is what i did uh-huh. him zaya akaniambia okay they call me amina ju mm. most most uh, arabic they cannot pronounce my name mm-hmm. yes so uh, nikakuwa nawaambia mi my name is amina actually amina also is another name that that's a story for another day so uh, kaniambia amina wala nami nikalia wallahi ladhim ah mzee akaniambia tansongezea kasura atikapek tu kapek tu ah muda kwanza mimi nilikuwa kadogo mpaka nainuka ah we <laughs> niliona ameingia kwa mfuko ametoa ATM akauliza ule dem mm. you have a, a flight to Kenya direct mm. dem akamwambia hapana Bahrain hakuna flight ya kwenda Kenya direct so lazima apitie UAE ama uko Sharja Mm-hmm. ndio aende Kenya. Mm-hmm. How much coming? Okay, ndatoka huko na Arabia. But kufika huko nilijipata Kenya na KQ. I don't know how. 
Mm. Yes. Like, mm. That's why na kwambia God akiamua ni wewe it is your time. So mm. njamaa kauliza how much? Kaambi wa 120. 120 dinar. Unajua 120 dinar that is almost 50k at that time. Mm. So njamaa kasema no problem take take. Mimi nikasikia kadi ime na the last yo yo kitini nilipatiwa actually was the last seat on that plane mm-hmm. like ili kwa imeja that is how i saw god by the way mm-hmm. juni nilikuwa najua we hapa sitatoka so nikaji akanipatia 80 dinar that was 23000 mm-hmm. akatembea hii ukifika huko sharja ju utaka for some time you will have to eat this you to me kama so kenyan wengi yeah to me meet a lot of kenyans pale kila mtu anajaribu kucha experience yake mm-hmm. yeah so tunajaribu kuambia na nini nini yeah so in a funny take 12 hours pale but i don't know god ali show up in 2 hours nikakuja nikaitwa nikasikia viola eh, passport nini nini i take kuna unaenda kaingizwa kwa KQ how i don't know mimi huyo kenya mm-hmm. Nililand hivi yani nilishikisha mguu hivi nikasikia nimekanyaga the Kenyan soil so in this nine months by the way ndamtanda nini nothing it was just me na bag zangu kadha hata shilingi nothing apart from, apart from ile 80 dinar dinar yenye ule Jamal kwa amenipatia mm. siku kwa na anything it was just me me na masoros kibao kwa kichwa juu nenda kuambia nini watu umetoka majuu umetoka majuu nine months yes umechapa nine months nani kitu naona pressure nyingi sana no at that time sasa nilikuwa nime upgrade mm. nimetoa maadhe ghetto mm. nimempeleka emba au oh, nenda emba sana yeah but a lot of people neighborhood si wanaishi kwa apartments wanajua huyu yes, yes, mtoi wake ako majuu na of course nilikuwa nime unajua nikienda nilikuwa na tu pesa kidogo kwa account nini nini so hizo ndo tulitumia for the nine months so kumaanisha when i'm coming it's just me mm-hmm. i have nothing nikafika ikakuwa ni discrimination kila mtu anataka utoe form na hauna mm-hmm. manze nikatan kukuwa drunkard nilikunywa nilikuwa siwezi kaa soba for a minute i was drinking like every day mimi mtu ningeingia club hivi mm-hmm. gini saba chini na nichukue gari nirudi home yes that was me yani watu wa nyanza kwa sasa reggae nyanza ama wapi no kuna another station kuna ka, kana ito, inaitwa jam rescue along jogo road kuna rescue kwa hapa karibu <laughs> railway station hapo jogoro dapo yeah i used to go there okay mimi napenda live band and yeah, i love guru. and i love lua music yeah. so jam rescue would offer that for me so nilikuwa napenda sana kwenda huko nikiona nimeboeka na hiyo side na kuja huko fine breeze kwa huko along uh, naivasha road huko kielekea ngong mm. yeah i used to go there too so nikakuwa nimekuwa mlevi vibaya in the process uh, hiyo ni kutoka Septemba mpaka Disemba mm. nikarudi nikajiuliza niko sure hii ndio maisha yeah. nataka mm. a a nikaongelesha best yangu she found a job sasa uko hapa hii kwenye sana nimeanza kuuza food sasa mm. yeah nikitoka job siku moja niko pale railways i was waiting for gari i come mm. there is a lady a call call oh nini nini eh niko na watu Qatar nini nini they will get in me came back you know <laughs> nikasikia Qatar Nilisimama hapo for two hours umo na mkia manze kuongea na simu. Yes, I'm mm. not going. Na walai kama angepanda gari ningepanda hiyo gari amepanda. Mm. Yes, I was going. So after me manza kuongea na simu nikamwambia sasa mam. Mm. Eh mimi naitwa Viola. Eh nimesikia ukiongea kuhusu story za wase Qatar nini nini. Mimi mm. niko na passport na naweza nataka ku travel. Mm. Kaniuliza job gani nikamwambia any. Ju at that point nilikuwa nimefika ile level ya I just want to go. Wacha tu niende. Ju huku kila mtu anakuongelea vibaya. Yaani wanakuona like wewe ni nani? Wewe wewe ufai wewe. You know? Ah wewe you are just a failure. So vitu kai hizo na nikajua if I continue with this drinking habit. Okay, Nili, I had people na walai kama kuna kitu mulevi anaweza kufanyia atakunulia pombe. But muitisha hizo pesa. Fomu atatoa. Muitisha hizo pesa hawezi akakupea. Imagine ningeingia club hivi msani by again saba lakini niko on an empty stomach. Na ukimwambia kupe hiyo do So nilikuja nikajiangalia nikaangalia utu tuto itu wangu. Eh hey, nikajiambia pana. Mm-hmm. Hey, Hawa toi siwezi taka wakuwe hii maisha yenyewe na naona wakielekea. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, nikajiambia we hapa sasa hata kama ni hiyo hata kama nikazia kuosha choo naenda. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, and then nika at that point nikaendelea sasa nikarudi kwa ile biashara ya bangi kidogo kidogo but now away from the kids. So huyu madam alikwambiaje? Alini ngoja kwa mektaje sasa. Alini hiyo siku nilichukua namba yake and then she told me mm. kuja kesho na passport yako mm. nitakutuma mahali wende ufanye 
eh, medical mm. so akanituma luthuli samo ya pale mm. actually hiyo kesho yake hata atsia ti alikuja in person si niko na namba yeah. na ujue hata sina simu i'm using my friend's phone mm. kaambia eh mama eh nipatie simu yako niongee na mtu kumpigia akaniambia ukifika tao luthuli uende ufanye nini medical mm. i did the medical luckily ilikuwa sawa mm. i was strong enough fit for the job so kaniambia okay wewe tulia tungoje result result ikatoka niko sawa kidogo after one month ananipigia na niambia your visa is approved we hakukuitisha ndio yote hakunitisha anything so ulikuja kazi gani nilikuja job ya hao hata at that time siku nataka kujua naenda wapi so hii ni 20 2018 i mean 2019 2019, 2019. sasa hiyo ni 2019 hiyo ilikuwa sasa tulipatana na umama mama ilikuwa march mm. no ilikuwa april alafu sasa a month after ndio mimi nakuja ku travel mm. yeah so visa imetoka kaniambia tutapatana nipatie tickets mm. ni take the flight ilikuwa on 5th 5th of may so yeah hiyo siku hata kukuja pia yeye mm. like huyu mwanamke it's like she was just god sent <laughs> she was just sent to take me to Qatar but she wasn't there personally ndio mm. hata siku ya ticket alituma mtu nikaletewa ticket hao kajipeleka mwenye airport so ulifika Qatar yeah. ulifika kwa mdosi nimekuja kwanza nimefika ofisi nimechukuliwa tumeka kuna room tuna mtu anayekangwa nikakulishwa indo mimi ni mlu ya jameni mnanikulisha mm. indo mikoa ni hata muniurumi mm. yeah nikakulishwa indo me that night hey, okay sawa kesho yake asubuhi naona watu wanachukuliwa wanaenda mimi niko hapo kwani what's not happening mm. eh hey, nikarudi kwa kwa god hey, mimi by the way everything i do i always go back to god and ask him like manze is this what you want me to do Mm. In as much as yes nimekuwa mlevi nimefanya hizo vitu zote but I always go back na uliza is this what you want So ikafika I think kitu saa 5 and then nikaitwa Na mimi kama kuna kitu nilikuwa naogopa ni Mwarabu amevaa kanzu mm. Ju, Unajua the moment umeona hiyo kanzu unaona ngatu ubaya mm. So kukakuja mzee fulani mzee mzee hivi anakuja na, na alikuwa dereva sana nilikuja kujua ni dereva nikaingizwa kwa Mercedes hapo kaambiwa this will be your boss mm. and that was the last time I heard from that office hata si hata ukiniulize ofisi kwa wapi sijui <laughs> yes i don't know uh-huh. so yeah nikachukuliwa nikapelekwa the house ilikuwa in um, either mm. a very big house kuna 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 hii movie najita escape from sobibo the big eh ah so alikuwa analeta ngwa pale wanaambiwa this will be your home for the rest of your life mm. so mimi nilifika pale nikiona ile KJV nikajiambia this will be your home for the next two years yes that is what i told myself the big house nyumba ni kubwa kibungalo i didn't know kuingia ndani they live a family ni mzae bibi yake ako na mtoi msichana alafu kuna three brothers who are married and they live in the same house and they have two kids each a very big family yes Tuli, sasa nikifika nilipata mwethopia there was a lady an ethiopian lady mm. so nilikuwa nimeogopa at first je unajua nile umeingia kwa hao unapata watu 21 okay like, literally walikuwa 21 yes walikuwa 21 so unashindwa eh hey, hey ntaweza but mm. najiambia si ulikuja job mm. but that family manze ni god to date wamenishikilia so as we are saying unafanya kazi huko no sifanyi kazi huko oh. but wamenishikilia if i have an issue now and i call them mm. they will pick my call so ulifanya how long for you two years mm. two months then nikaongea na mzae akanipatia noc mm-hmm. i got out mm-hmm. nikaingia kwa restaurant Yasmin Palace restaurant iko the Pal Qatar pale mwisho tawa mm-hmm. 31 I work there for one year six months and then nikakuwa terminated mm-hmm. he mapenzi we mapenzi ilifanya nikuwa terminated kazi anyway alafu ndenda kupenda mwarabu ama <laughs> si mwarabu he's kenyan uh-huh. yeah he's kenyan na ilikuwa coincidence ndio unajua sasa already nimetoka kwa boda watu hii it's three years down the line mm-hmm. nimekuwa single mzee wangu amekuwa pombe and then all of a sudden someone pops up like eh manzee mimi nakutaka wewe ni mrembo and i'm like okay we can do this mm-hmm. si niko kwa nyumba tu onani mm-hmm. si ati naogopa utanipea kitu ah uh-uh. <laughs> yes so yeah nikapata na msomali flani tuka date nikiwa kwa hao so when i came out nika join kampuni nyingine kwanza hivi hivi i worked for those people for two months hata wako hii nilipa kampuni mm. ya Nigerian so that's why mimi na West African men ah <laughs> eh they didn't pay me so nikiwa na huyu msomali wangu i told him manze mimi hapa mali penye niko mm. siko job hapa nika nimekuja tu kusongeza time so please ukisikia chance Nintu. connect me mm. so yeye nao na the guy sasa mwenye alifanya tutaminate your job walikuwa friends na the guy alikuwa anafanya kama logistics at Yasmin Palace mm. so um 
tuka akamuongelesha mm-hmm. do you know that hawa sio waliandika cv mimi chenye nilikuwa najua kwa cv ni jina yangu mm-hmm. wallahi mimi nilikuwa tu najua jina yangu but nothing else didn't know hata kujua na wana kuandikia cv ya job gani hata sijui walikuwa wameandika cv ya nini but me i just wanted a job okay jua at this moment sasa niko desperate tunajua sasa nimetoka nje and then i have nothing else so ile job watanipatia me i'm good to go mm-hmm. yeah, so ya sonkaitwa interview yasmin palas kumbe hawa sio walikuwa wameandika a very good cv Yes but mimi sasa the point is i don't know what is written there au kusoma na unisoma hawa kunipea cv hawa kunipatia they wrote it and they they took it so kumbe walikuwa wameandika cv moja kubwa mimi nafika hivi nasikia are you miss viola yes mr ivan will interview in a minute mr ivan anakuja eh nikajua hapa ndachoma the ghetto in me came back nikamwambia boss i'm here in person please no need to ask questions from that paper just ask, ask me, me anything uh, uh, uh. Unajua hiyo hiyo ilikuwa tu pass already. No need to go through this. You just ask. Ni uli si ni mimi ndio huyu. Sasa una, unaangalia karatasi why ule jamaa akaniambia okay. Hata kuongea tena. Akaniambia uh, akaniambia we will call you. Confident. Nikaenda home. Na wakanilipia uba ya kwenda home. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kesho yake nikaitwa sasa na huyu alikuwa sijui alikuwa floor manager. Mm-hmm. So kuna huyo mkubwa wake akaniita kesho yake. Akasema I just wanted to see you in person tena kanilipia uba nikaenda home nikaambiwa the hr will call you to inform you uta sign offer letter when mm-hmm. so hapo nimemaliza like two months nje sasa already tangu nitoke kwa mzae mm-hmm. yeah so nikaanza nikaenda job pale now hey, ndio ujue mimi imagine I've been, people have been there as bridges for me yeah huyu jamaa wangu tumedate hiyo miaka nimekuwa kwa nyumba mm-hmm. si ndio ameni connect ya job mm-hmm. and then sikunaanza kazi the guy mm-hmm. anaenda mute paka naanza kujiuliza kwani nimedu unajua zile za kwani kwani mimi nilifanyanga nini mbona wase wananinyamazia but sasa unaona hii hiyo kushinda nimejihurumia mm-hmm. the friend ananiona anaona eh manzee mtoto mzuri bana eh ufai kuumia okay uh-huh. eh, eh. so tukakaa one two three tukakuwa good friends besties buddies nini nini aikafika mahali wewe mimi ni mgeto bro unanipatia pesa ya kwenda salon nikitaka kununua kitu shen na kuitisha pesa unanipea like literally ule msali kwa fani inaweza fika enda mantaksha kwa salo akuja anipatie 300 anambia mama hii ni yako ya mfuko bro unanipea doka kama nani eh mimi nilimkuta kama unijua tu nini anadai nilimuuliza hii but then nilifika hiyo point like we mimi ni mkibera mimi ni mkibera naenda kuuliza nikuulize mimi na wewe tunakuanga nani nilimuuliza swali akanambia we are just friends nikamwambia sawa we are friends okay you are in kenya yeah in Kenya mm-hmm. and yeah so we are friends okay let us be friends Msomali amenda missing so kama umeenda missing na uniko na replacement what am i waiting for like udi mse ananipea do kama sijaitisha unajua wewe yeah. madem tunapenda do na si ati kuna kitu na ni pay back yeye mm-hmm. ni do ananipatia mimi nachukua naweka kwa mfuko story maisha mm-hmm. saizi kwanza niko kwa payroll yeah. uh, pale yasmin they offered me like our say wali ni sijui ni ni grace ya god naweza sema me am a child of grace ju nilienda pale nikapele kwa sekta ya kupea na salad Nona, nilikuwa na serve two salads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, kidogo kidogo nimechukuliwa nimepelekwa kwa bar. Nikaoshwa glass kwanza 5 months. Yes, niliosha glass for 5 months. Kidogo kidogo nimepelekwa mimi nimekuwa barista. Naanza kufundishwa kutengeneza kahawa ni nini nini. Yes, and I learned that very fast. Kidogo kidogo mimi ndo nashikilia morning shift peke yangu. Ah, but Yeah. Mm-hmm. So unaona sasa at this point si mwaka ishaisha mm-hmm. nimekaa kwa ubesti mwaka naona bro hapana hata mimi eh hey, hey, Buddha Madrid roho imeanza <laughs> roho imeanza kufanya ile kitu na no I'm not I hey. imeacha kusukuma damu I imeacha ime, imeanza kiherehere na sasa imeanza kiherehere let's just go for it mm-hmm. so yeah we started the relationship na ni mse very nice mm-hmm. huyo ni mse size hata mimi kama sijapiga simu kujuli watu hii hali ya yeah, atawakol mm-hmm. mko aje mm-hmm. na si watoto wake we still have real men out here mm-hmm. and I, I salute him that much mimi hata nakaanga hivi namwambia we mimi sina watoto watoto ni wako yeah we are still with real men out here. yes <laughs> we have real men out here so kidogo kidogo the management wakakuja waka realize eh hawa say wako so much love mpaka mm-hmm. the guy alikuwa haezi control anymore inakuwa like naweza kwa niko place Anakuja niko job ju yasmin ni pale ju ilikuwa yako fast flow mimi nilikuwa mm-hmm. chini anges mama pale just looking at what i'm doing na ali, alikuwa that jealous mpaka singeongeleshwa na mwanaume yote na unajua sasa pale with me niko na this thing in me i work most with men than women mm. 
I was the only lady kwa ile bar area ya Yasmin. Mm. So unapata lazima nita communicate na wao. Yeah. Mm. Na unajua mkiwa workmates mnazoeana sana. So ya yeah, hiyo wivu yake ni nini? Ya yeah, tukakuja tukapigwa termination yetu kwanza mimi ndio nilikuwa nitaminatiwe clean. Akasema yeah we are going together. Pia akapigwa termination yake and we were out. So pamoja na kasi. Yes. Tuko hapa nje kwa street tumechapa hustle. Kwanza sasa yeye amechapa mwaka na miezi sita bila job. Sasa mnadu. <sighs> Unajua mimi ni dem misi zikosa kazi. Okay. Ya yeah, uh, like nimekwambia me I love babies that mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Nimejaribu kutafuta job sana hizi za ma uh, juice nimekwambia I studied here in Berkeley. Mm-hmm. Nilifanya secretarial with front desk management mm-hmm. and I speak fluent Arabic. Mm-hmm. So for me to get a job in Katara if I kuwe ngumu. Mm-hmm. But shetani amefanya ile kitu. Kazi generally say job hakuna. Ya yeah, job hakuna. So mm-hmm. the sister to the guy now akakuwa yeye ni agent ya yeah, she brings ladies from Kenya pia oh. so akipata na she is working for one company inaitwa Alemadia so mm. yeye hiyo ni, ni recruitment company pia hapa ndo yes okay. so yeye aki akiitishwa mtu wa kazi from the office instead of chukue wale wasichana wao wa Alemadia she tells me hata leo alikuwa amenitia job nikamwambia pana I'm busy oh as in sasa akitishwa akitishwa msichana wa cleaning mm. she will tell me to go hebu ni kuuliza just to make it clear sio mm-hmm. hii agency iko hapa doha yes. wako na watu wameweka wako na watu wao wa, yes watu wa, house, to house. house to house oh, house to house yes. so there's an agent in doha ina yeah. imeka wako na watu wao wa. yes wako na madem yeah Ale Madia is a big company. So they have their own staff. Yeah. Who does house to house house to house cleaning. Uh-huh. So wewe wakati unaona kama madem unasikia unaenda unafanya cleaning 2 hours kwa nyumba 3 hours pale hizo mm, yeah. sasa ndio job. So she akiitishwa mtu and uh-huh. alikuwa anajua sina job so she would send me there. Uh-huh. So hivyo nikijaribu ku maneuver maneuver mimi ni mgeto. Mm. Yeah, I found one lady yako na an autistic kid and the kid took a click. Yeah. Yeah, so that is what I'm doing as per now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uko the Palkatar. Mm-hmm. And apart from that me tu ni mama Africa. Kuna mali niliona by the way kuna clip niliona ukasema you used to work with another entertainment group zina and it's a good vibes. Yes, yeah? good vibes. So good vibes iko aje by the way inaendelea aje? Huh. At this moment mm. hata sijui iko wapi. Ju mimi usema kitu moja. Mm. Kama good vibes ingekuwa si mimi mm. then size ingekuwa inaendelea that I'm not there. When it's closed it's not closed it's not closed mm-hmm. but the following and walikuwa nayo mm-hmm. is gone na a lot of people when walikuwa wananijua from good vibes mm-hmm. wakati walitoka i have a group now i call myself a catalyst yes we are three people mm-hmm. mr malanga who is my photographer mm-hmm. alafu kuna gerald midnight mm-hmm. yeah my very close friend mm-hmm. na mimi as usual i told you me i work with men <laughs> really? Okay. Now yeah. it seems like you left uh, I, I left. Na reason ilifanya nitoke good vibes. Mm-hmm. Uh unapata tumefanya event. Mm-hmm. Ju, yes, we did very good with good vibes. Niliona at party ilikuwa poa. Tulifanya very good with good vibes. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa unapata wale wase awako open. We started this thing mimi na the guy anajita Aleko Kale Aleki Kale Kito something. Kale Kito no. Yes. Mimi na Kale Kito mm. ndo tulikuwa kwenye good vibes. Talabat. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So unapata yeye alikuja aka aka involve watu wengine without telling me. Okay. Unajua wewe kama wewe you have your partner. Ukitaka kuingiza watu wengine see you tell your partner. Ningena mm, partner. Mimi si kwambiwa anything. Mm. All of a sudden tulikuwa mimi na yeye kwa group naona ame add another people. So nikimuuliza akaniambia hawa ni wase wa kuadvertise. Mm-hmm. The thing yenye hakuniambia ni ati hawa wase wa kuadvertise pia walikuwa nataka kulipwa. Unaona? Mimi mimi nikija kama advertiser ama influencer si expect. Yeah, nothing. so mimi nikakuwa nimemwambia ju hizi ni event tunapelekana na si obvious hata ukiwa advertiser si hata wewe lazima uchi, uchi pin pia kama story na tiko si utatu utatu tiko pia bebe. Mimi nikaambia aliyeko fanya hivi. Ah wase wako wacha wako wana come free sawa ju their boys na wako na watu wao mm-hmm. eh hey, yeye na mtu wake tunawapatia free space free ticket yes. na advertise sasa makosa ikakuwa huyu anakuja na mtu wake mtu wake anakuja na beste yake beste yake anakuja na beste yake big number so unapata hiyo at that time tuliana na like 20 land cruisers desert oh mimi kwa desert safari yes okay. Tuki, uh, in fact tukianza ku venture tulianza na desert mm-hmm. so unapata gari ni 20 lakini pesa ime collect ya gari nane peke yake mm-hmm. Then nikienda kuuliza nikaambiwa mimi sinado. 
aya what what will i do id yangu ndio imetumika ku hire hizo gari mm-hmm. so ilibaki nimeingia kwa mfuko yes na huyo the sister mwenye anakuambia amekuwa akinipatia kazi i had to call her juu sasa hiyo at that moment yeah. sina anything yeah. nikam call nikamwambia mama please just cover me mia tano peke yake i will mm-hmm. refund mm-hmm. kaniambia sawa she send the money to the guys sasa hapo ndo nikakuja nikajiuliza okay what am i doing kwani mimi niko hapa kufurahisha raia mm-hmm. okay mimi in fact i swear before god hiyo event any event nilikuwa naenda nilikuwa nalipa mimi ni ule mse hata kama biashara ni yangu lazima nitachipi na jihesabu hata mimi niweke ledo yangu nilikuwa nalipa Niyo event zote kitoka, kitoka. yes ikwe, like ni kuna a clear number like kama ni watu kumi wametoa so so nafaa ni kuna thao including mimi yes. ni kwa hiyo thao mm. yeah so that faida yangu ni kikount ni count kitu najua so unapata yeah ili happen nikafika hiyo siku mimi nikaona hakuna haja nifurahishe raia huko nje mimi sikukuja furahisha mtu doha mm-hmm. si wote tulikuja hustle mm-hmm. na at this moment mimi siko kwa kampuni id lazima nita renew every year mm-hmm. so yeah nikaamua tu wacha tu niachilie sasa entertainment group zimekuwa mob yeah zimekuwa mob but kuna yeah, party inaendelea kuna yeah so many yani i have a yacht party on next week on friday mm-hmm. yeah yeah under the catalyst Mm-hmm. So whoever is available kwa ko invited tunacharge tu only 150. Okay. Yeah tutaki pesa mingi sana. Na yeni, Tuata... yeni.